Hello again. It's Priscilla Batso in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I found this strange thing, this artifact, this relic from my past kicking around in kitchen goods. I think you were supposed to put a plastic bag inside it. But it occurs to me that it would make a very good way to do some sort of submersion pour. But I want to do a ring pour inside of it and then let it submerge. And I'm not sure how I'm going to start that. But I do have some white paint. Oh, not very much though. So I guess it's going to be a lot of black. <laughs> is what it seems like. Because I should have checked that before I... I've got some here. I've got some white pearl too. I'll be alright. So I'm going to take the top off of that and that. And spread that around. Big enough. I see that little lump there. I got some beads and some other stuff that I might... I think glasses may be in order. <laughs> Sometimes, more often than not. Let's put those on my face. So, let's seat that right at an odd angle. I probably should have cleaned that a little better. And, because we can, we'll start with some black. And I think that's metallic black, but I'm not certain. I've got plenty of the other black, and I've got a couple different colors of gold. And usually ring pours you pour out of another container, but this time I'm pouring it into this container, obviously, because I can. Let's put some white pearl in there and see what happens, because we don't know unless we try, and we do it because we can. I have another color of gold that I like. This was from the Arteza collection. I'm tempted to use a gold puddle around the outside edge because I can. And I don't know how a submersion pour will work. And I see there's a fair amount of schmutz on the bottom of that, that bezel that's sitting there. And because I have quite a bit of black, I think I'm going to allow myself the pleasure of using what I have as opposed to going and finding more white, which would not please either one of us very much at this point. But that's not a bad start. I've got edge catchers. I'm going to rest the top back on that white. That looks kind of cool. I think I want some more white, though. Some more white pearl right in the center. Yep. And some more of that gold, too. And there's only one silver stripe, so I guess I'm just going for it. It's not overly deep, but it's uh, plenty deep enough to cover this canvas, so I might have some left over. Always good to have a piece of freezer paper handy hanging around if you need to dump paint off your canvas. I also have beads and chains and other variations on a theme. And we'll see what happens. I'm just going to spin that around because I can. Let it continue to seep out underneath. That's kind of working. That's kind of neat. How is this going to turn out? I don't know. It's making some neat cells, which I'm afraid I'll probably lose. I'm going to just pull that over here because I can, because I'm liking what I'm seeing. And then because paint flows to paint, <laughs> and there's paint on there, I'm just going to wipe it off and throw it in the bucket. And I got this terrible feeling that the, uh, the gold and the black around the edge of that are probably wasted. But I am liking the cells I see. And I don't like using silicone. Silicone will make gorgeous cells, but then you have to clean it off your paintings. So if you ever wonder why I don't do that, that's why. You can often torch, although I don't, in this heat, as soon as I heat the paint some more, then I'm firming up the surface. But let's see what we release, because Floatrol and other pouring mediums will help make cells. You don't always need silicone. I even saw somebody using dish soap recently, which I myself would not recommend, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about either, so. Um, 
I'm going to continue to use the black I have plenty of, especially right here, because I think I would like that right there. And I'm also going to bring over my Princeton Catalyst spatulas, which are actually referred to as art tools, and you can find them in the Amazon link underneath the video if you look hard enough. It's not necessarily an easy thing, but they're my favorite tools. All my tools are my favorite tools. Um, but anyway, so for right now, they're my favorite tools at the moment. I'm going to wipe that off on my ever-present wet cotton rag made of uh, sweatshirt material. And I'm going to let some of that come down. Hopefully not too far and too fast. I'm notoriously fast tipper. And we can use an edge catcher. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have one from the last painting, you can see, that turned out quite nicely. Oh, I don't want water on there. Let's grab a different one. I got water all over my table. Where did that come from? Oh, must be from when I wash my hands, because I had paint all over my arm. Let's just grab a new one of those. And let that pool at the bottom. Not too long, because I don't want to lose all those cells. And squish it. And maybe wipe some of that water off not a huge fan of having a lot of water. I would love to keep some of those cells and I think the only way I can think of to do that is by adding some more paint. And because I like the gold here, I'm going to be obviously mixing some more gold very soon. Those are two different color golds, but that's okay. I'll just add some different, add something different to the pattern. You can use these spatulas to drag things and change marks, or make marks and change things up. And I often use them also to swipe things, like so, spontaneously, <laughs> which is what just happened. And I'm not minding that. I'm kind of thinking I want to put, it, put some more of that over there. I don't think I have too much. Ooh, that's we got wind. Wind is good sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it's not, especially when like, things like edge catchers blow right into my artwork. I am going to take a big chance and let that pool at the bottom. And I would like to just move that paint right over there. And the phone that never stops ringing is ringing again. One of these times when I answer Expression to Start Studio Gallery, it's actually going to be somebody who wants to come and visit. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be awesome. <laughs> See you soon. All right, this is turning out pretty cool. I'm liking it. I'm just going to spatula my, to my little heart's desire because I can. And I'm going to take a chance that accidental art works. I'm also going to go ahead, since I see a naked edge, where is it, and grab my black paint. Just use my finger as a guide to drip the paint right onto it, onto the edge, or onto my finger and then onto the edge, so I can cover that now so I don't have to think about it in a moment, because I'm really liking what's happening. Um, it's a great pattern. I think I'm just going to take the massive paint that I have spread here and use what's right, right to hand. I think I also have enough paint on the spatula and the painting to probably, to probably cover that edge. See, the problem with cleaning, not cleaning your spatulas off is you get this one tiny little grain of dried on stuff, and then when you want a nice smooth mark, you don't get it. So always clean your spatulas. Don't be like me. <laughs> I try, but I get kind of busy sometimes. Now, I was talking about this other cool spatula, this one with a point. And I like it because it doesn't really interfere too much with too much, although I can see some canvas there. And uh, I want to pick up some paint, put it down right there. You know, I'm just really liking that, except for I want some black, and I have some right on my... Hey, I have a turntable. I just need a brain to remember it. Yeah, I'm good. Hopefully. I <laughs> can always flow some paint down there. 
if I think I need to. I don't give up easily, so even when things aren't perfect, I'm still perfectly happy. I think that that's just another opportunity for me to do something different. We got plenty of paint on here. We have not used a torch. We have eight minutes left, which means this is going to be a fairly short video. I'm going to look for places. I have, I have paint on my spatulas, and I'm going to use it up before I put them in the bucket and waste it. So I'm sorry. Bear with me for a moment or two. I will check my edges when I'm done and run my finger along underneath so that the painting's tendency is to um, reject the paint as it gets to the very bottom and then you have a white mark. And I like to be able to hang or like to let people be able to hang my stuff without, uh, without frames by painting the edges. And I'm liking that I got to keep all those cool cells. I really am. And I like the randomness of the patterns. And it's far more composed than some of the others are. I'm almost done checking my edges and those corners too. Those corners reject paint like a son of a gun. I like filling them with paint. Yeah, I'm happy. I don't know what's going on up there, but I guess I'll find out. So let's take the torch to this and tell you that if you like my work and you like the fact that I am attempting to continuously share a video with you every day where you can see what I do when I experiment, then I will also tell you that I have a place that you can donate if you can help me out. That would be great. If you can't, just keep commenting and enjoying and appreciating as best you can. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, ring the bell. Ring the bell next to subscribe. That way you will get notified when I put new work up, which will be basically every day. Um, so at the bottom of the description, underneath the video, I have placed a link to a Facebook album where I have put as many of the YouTube wet and dry artworks as I possibly can, and I will continuously update that as, I, as time allows. But that's the place to look. Sometimes there's a Pinterest link down there. I got all kinds of cool stuff on Pinterest boards um, from my artwork that will link you to my Pixels and Fine Art America sites where you could buy a coffee mug if you wanted to be helpful, <laughs> or a shower curtain if you wanted to be even more helpful, or a t-shirt if you just like t-shirts. <laughs> I know I'm being weird. Um, my paintings are for sale. Um, what else? The recipe for my pouring medium, my pouring mixture, my acrylic and pouring medium mixture, <laughs> is a uh, also in the description underneath the video. So before you ask me what's in it, that's where to find it. And if you want to know why it's 20 minutes for the timer, the timer is set because the camera will shut off after 20 minutes and it gets hot and overheats and we don't like that. Also using the torch will release the air bubbles in, in the paint, which seems to be a really good idea because when you find them the next day, they're not that much fun anymore. And yeah, I wanted that right there. I got lizards leaping everywhere today. It's kind of funny. A couple more marks here and there. I never heard anything. And I just want a torch until I'm satisfied. Because it's a really super hot day out here, I'm not having a lot of uh, cell creation with the torch because the paint is already warm and that's fine. We have five minutes left and I don't think we need all of it. So I'm gonna say um, thank you for joining me. Thank you to all the people who have contributed so far. You've kept me working and I really so, so appreciate it. I wanna make sure you know that. And what else can I tell you? I hope you all keep on commenting. I love your comments. I like talking to you guys. That's cool. <laughs> yes, I'm still focusing over here. A little here, a little there. That is just really neat. Just exactly something I would wish for if I were capable of knowing what I could have in advance. I'll be cleaning my tile in a minute. Um, so this is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, the Daylight Gallery. So give us a call when you're in the area and stop in. Be happy to entertain you for as long as you want to be here, right up until dark. <laughs> sort of, kind of. Anyway, give us a call, and I will see you in the next video. Priscilla out. Bye for now.